Welcome, we are here at day two of the Poker Master Class and we have the Masters themselves <laughs> battling it out. This four-handed sit and go between some of the greats, Vinod Nagalmani, Kanish Kasamant, Shravan Chabria and of course Abhishek Goindi are going to try to score points for their respective teams. We figured it out. We started. Yeah. Bro, start after the first shuffle at least. Okay. This should be a fun one. Actually, I think my whole team won't change. No, I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to change, and I don't know how to do it. Bro, I mean, don't change the change. I can't even see. I suspect the amount of banter in this match Stop is it, going yeah. to be. You raise every hand till now. Higher than any other. You raise every hand till now. <laughs> Is that the strategy you guys took? I like my first card. Shanu will be tight this time. I like Abhishek Goindi claiming he is wearing shades to support the rest of his team. 40? 48. The Shark Squad so far has been wearing shades at the tables. And what a hand to kick it off. Pocket 3 is being raised under the gun. Abhishek Goindi wakes up with pocket kings and the flop comes 6 4 deuce. After the 3 bet, the continuation bet, surely getting called here. Vinod Nagalmani having a pair and of course the straight draw. Vinod is in position. Easy continue for now. Instead, he raises it up. Oh my, oh my. When we're so deep, action began with 250 blinds in every one stack. You see some wild action. You see some wild moves. In this case, Vinod raising on the flop. Now check to in position. Seems to be cutting out a bet once again. And did I see his hand shaking a bit? He bets 15,000. This is one of those bets that is effectively setting himself up to check behind on the river. That way, he's sort of setting his own price to get to the final card. It's the queen of clubs. The only question is, does Abhishek check? Yeah, he does, and Vinod surely will check behind. Now that Abhishek has called two bets. All in. Oh, wait just a second. Is this the first hand? Vinod is representing a very, very narrow range here. Mostly hands that flop sets on the flop. After all, he has pocket threes. Could have pocket deuces, pocket fours. Or somehow a six or a backdoor club draw that came in. Abhishek does have the king of clubs. It could make a difference in his decision. He effectively has a bluff catcher with the pocket kings and he lets it go. I'll take this and you take this. That's right. See on screen. Hey, 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 what an explosive start to this table. Now, now almost wish I didn't see it. it. Yeah, I wish I didn't see it. Either. Yeah, same. <laughs> like, like, I was in my mind, I was having something in my head, and then and that I just kind of. So I made a big hole. Hey, wait, what is it? Your club? Spades. What the fuck did you have, bro? Complete air ball. <laughs> complete air ball. You just fucked me. I know, I know. Yeah, ace three, yeah. I know you like sticking your hand on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Really I, 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 I actually don't know what you have. So 
and I was like, two hundred declines is jam first first time. <laughs> I think I think you'll have never played 200 big blinds. You have you have king, you have kings rings. No, oh, baby, you have your kings. No, that's what I thought you had. I, I honestly thought you had, you had kings, and probably you have a king of clubs. I mean, I think so. yeah, I felt you had kings. So now I was, I was calling any river but an ace or two. I was gonna snap any river. I was gonna jack, king, jack. Did king, you have jack, that? I thought you. Had. I am undo. But I, I didn't. Raise, I didn't think you were gonna raise jack okay. to ten on the top. Okay, we know that these three rolls you can you can jam two two hundred bigs. Fine. I like it. That was, that, that was entertaining. I can't do anything. Else. I thought about. He came. He came early. He came early. Took a power nap. Yeah, he lowered an hour. What was the drop again? Two three six, right? No. No. Two four six. Two four six. Six queen. Then another clubs. He had three of spades, right? You saw three of spades. Three of spades. The discussion of the previous hand has spilt over into the next one, and I don't blame them. Yeah, yeah, he's a fearless player. I have all, I have everything. That board is my board. Actually, the river club also. I mean, it didn't factor in much, but. Shravan takes the hand down, but nobody seems to care. Everybody wants to talk about the previous hand. Of course, Vinod revealing he had the three of spades. I mistakenly thought he might give up on the river in position, check behind, take the small showdown value with the pocket pair, but clearly underestimating these guys is not the right way to go. I know I saw his three ball. Did you have queens? Did you play? Did you manage it? Did you manage it? Balls, you knew I had queens. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know. You thought I, I was super I weak. That's why I went no, check call, I, check call. I figured you have a That's why I went. Player. I knew you thought I was weak. That's I why I didn't overplay on the call. Yeah, but I but knew I you didn't know. know I, I knew you didn't know I had as strong as king. Yeah. The way I played it, I was. So I thought you were king. On the turn, huh? I, I thought you were king. I actually thought. Yeah, I'm but I knew he didn't know I had king. Like I knew he knew I had overplay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, is this the right? Do you? Are you yeah? So lucky. Hey, Nini. One chip. I was I was certain that you knew I had over pair. That's why I wanted to check all that because I was like he's never going to put me on a hand. No, 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 no. Two seven four. Nigel Manny, what you gonna do, sir? And you're never raising keys on the flop. Actually, it's a big problem, I don't know. The discussion of hand number one is yet to end, but hand number three could get exciting. Shravan finding the ace nine off suit. Understandably, raising it up under the gun, of course, under the gun, four-handed is the same as a cutoff. So, very reasonable open, and Vinod Nagalmani has set perhaps the tone of the match. Makes it a min three bet. Very advanced move, by the way, being used in the poker world. This min three bet. Shravan makes the call as he's apt to do, given the odds that he's getting, and flops best. And Vinod is now out of position. Trying to rep the hand that Shravan, in fact, has. Quick pet and a call in position by Shravan, and a spicy three of diamonds, four to a straight now on the board. Vinod does have a six in his hand somehow after three betting from the small blind. Does he want to represent having a five? Needs to keep in mind that his big bluff. Essentially got shown down. He showed the three of spades after running that bluff against Goindi. As a result, decides to be a bit more cautious. Effectively gives up. Shaman can't be too afraid of the four to a straight on the board. For one thing, it's been checked to him twice. He needs to realize that he can represent two flush draws that have missed. Does have the ace of spades. Goes big. Just wants to get done with this fight. <laughs> <laughs> so people do boom boom. 
That first hand leading to an early chip lead for Vinod and an early deficit for Abhishek. But 90 bigs is plenty. Against Avira, always. Post love, run out, run out. These guys are the best in the country. They know how to play perfectly in every stack tap. <laughs> Two, two, three, better go. King Queen suited a monster for Kanishka. Seven and a half. Raises it up. Three bet from the small. Lions are at 400, 800. The North opened Queen 10 off from the button. Has been 3 bet. The pretty looking 8 7 suited needs to hit the mark from Shravan. And the North will continue. Snappies. Dangerous board. Ace, Queen, 8. There is a Queen for both players. Kanishka has the best kicker. No longer. Both players playing queens and eights with an ace kicker. Five thousand five hundred is the bet. About a third of the pot. The dog makes the call. The nine of diamonds changes nothing. Vinod okay. does have the ten in case he wants to rep the straight instead. Just takes the showdown value and the chop. What is this? What is this happening? Huh? What is this happening? Chop it up. Everybody likes to chop part. Not the dealer. <laughs> <laughs> the dealer doesn't like a chop pot. The dealer wants it. So, I, was, like I just didn't think. I just didn't. You should call and lose. I just didn't think you were going to stone cold bluff the first time. I don't even know. I hope you have three fives. Works. <laughs> but, yeah. but I just hope. It would have been sick. Huh? I, I, three, just, three, I didn't four, think you were going to stone cold bluff the whole time. I'm not fooling you. What's going on? Players still discussing hand number one, Abhishek. Claiming he did not give Vinod credit for just stone cold bluffing hand number one for over 200 bigs. Cannot say I blame Abhishek there. Vinod came in with a game plan of just going for it if needed. And it completely worked out in his favor. Shravan defends the small blind versus blind situation. Shake. Wanting to force the issue with the A2 soft. Raise pre flop in position. Now continuation betting, and Shravan just knows his customer, it seems like. Coming along for the ride with King High. Another four on the turn. And it goes check, check. A king should be a card that gives Shovin a lot of relief. And he checks again. Certainly trapping now. As I said, he knows his opponent. And Abhishek takes the bait. Bets 10,000 and is quickly called. Proudly announces 8 high. And I think, fair to say, we have an official short stack now. Abhishek down to 52,000 in chips. Just over half of the starting stack. <laughs> His, his job is done. He's done. He's done. He's on stream. It's done.
five deuce on the button can surely get away. Oh, never mind. Shravan sees this as a chance to make some weak holdings to his button opening range. King three of diamonds finds the defense in the big. Ace, jack, six, two clubs is the flop. Nice board for Shravan to try and continue, get his opponent off king high. Shravan is going to be very, very balanced in his continuation bets, which means he's doing this at the same size with strong hands and weak hands. This time. I know you guys are wild. Get Blank his boss. I know I wish to play. He also gets there. Yeah. <laughs> You no, already there, bro. What getting there? Already there. <laughs> he got there. <laughs> he changed the screen name to got there. <laughs> I'm here, Dalgo. <laughs> oh, I, I that can't. also is fake. But I'm here now. That's like. I'm doing two already. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. You got this. Hand chal raha hai. Chalo. Chaman ki saari khad ke rehenge. Okay. Yeah. Too late now. Kanishka comes along with the 6-5 off. Shravan opening the pretty looking queen jack of clubs. Flops the open ended straight draw. King 10 deuce on the board, all spades. Kanishka has the old 6 high, nothing, nothing. An easy continuation bet for Shravan in position. And surely an easy fold for Kanishka. There we go. Shravan has some momentum behind him. 142,000 now in his stack. Old. Making it look easy out there. Vinod shouting out his Pokerbazi screen name, Fish Stars. Yeah. I mean, these guys played last time. We played last time. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. 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 Pocket Kings for Goindy. Once again, the hand he got dealt on hand number one. I suspect he's going to be a little more attached to it this time. Lines are 800, 1600. Abhishek has 30 bigs. Oh, the five twos in the big blind. Will it get defended? Indeed it does. Nine eight six rainbow. Five does give Shravan the straight draw. He's gonna donk bet. Bet out of flow. He knows the nine eight six board absolutely favors the big blind defending range. Abhishek just makes the call. Queen of Diamonds does complete the obvious straight draw of the Jack Ten. Shravan does not double barrel. Once Abhishek continues, Shravan knows hitting a pair is likely no good. Could be drawing dead sometimes or simply drawing to the lower end of a straight that Abhishek could have the higher end of. Interesting card. The back door flush draw completes. There's a four to a straight on the board. And now Shravan is looking to represent a 10. He certainly could have been dong betting a 10. After all, he dong bet a 5. Abhishek has the king of diamonds as well. This could be a crying call from him, depending on the sizing. Let's see what Shravan has gone with. Almost full pot. Great bet. Very polarized, as they say. And he makes the call. Does not want to be bluffed with the kings this time. So Abhishek finds 20,000 chips going his way. You imagine how wide he must be. Like, 2k. Plan was to take though. Plan was to take. The banter on this table is just unbelievable. Anishka pointing out with the 5 do showdown how wide Shravan is defending. I didn't think you were going to 
Govindy is done folding kings, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, I'm not folding kings. He's yeah, done folding kings. Like, next time kings, then I'm going to fold them. I was like, uh, you'll never value by the two pairs there with that side. Yeah, next time kings, then I'm going to fold them. 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 He doesn't like calling it also. Yeah, but I think this is it, huh? You and me. Oh, speech play, huh? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, get a room. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Get out. Oh, and he calls. It's a very aggressive call. Bro, I'm also left in the hand. You can see it. Kings are not going to be able to do it. Let them fight. No. Pocket 6 is opening under the gun. Shravan finding the pocket 5s. Wants to see a flop. 1-5, unfortunately, in Abhishek's hand. With the queen 5 off suit. And is he eyeing raising chips? There we go. A shaky hand, almost like a reverse tell, as they say. Puts in the squeeze player from the big blind. A squeeze meaning there's an open, there's a caller. And you decide to three bet. And Vinod's having none of it. He has a pocket pair. That's fine, that's fine. Makes the quick call. Okay then. And so does Shravan. This pot has ballooned. Almost exactly Goindy's remaining stack is in the pot. One SPR effective. And a six is on the board. King 10-6. Vinod has an absolute lock on this hand. Checks from Shravan and Abhishek. Vinod has position as well on both of them. Makes a small bet. <laughs> Blasted again. And gets quick folds. <laughs> again, he's showing a bluff. Oh my god. Get Ajax, get Ajax. He's just getting. Get Ajax. I should have he just ripped. He, did, he yeah. didn't have a king. You would have called, right? Have a king. If I ripped. <laughs> you do not scare oh, Atkins again. No, he's folding, bro. He's floating. Pre flop, yeah. Yeah, but I'm also there. Hey, he's he's not worried about you. Bacha, <laughs> I'll let him. Okay. We will see in a bit. He floated to bluff me out. He is so so me, how did I float you? Oh, you've been pre flopped. Yeah. yeah. I had a calling hand. I called yeah, and your team suggested that you were in right? position. Yeah, yeah. That's why you had Queen 9 suited, bro. Wait, wait. Like two, two. <laughs> I thought. Uh, no, no, it's not winning. Huh? But he definitely didn't have a king. Well, like he had something suited. I'll tell you, I didn't have a king. Huh? Yeah, you had. I didn't have a king. I think you had a king. Diamond or something like that. What do you think? That's so obvious. You saw him with diamond. I didn't have a king. I think you had a king with diamond. No, bro, he didn't have anything. Something. What do you mean? No, I think you didn't have a pair of diamond. No, of course he didn't have a pair. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Queen Jack stupid makes sense. Well. The diamond is that one. You know it was going in. Did you, you have that? You got to see that. You need the heart. Actually, don't say it right. Let I had the a heart. Please Let the... Please yes, yes. Tons of discussion. Hey. No, I had a heart. Of what Vinod could have had. <laughs> Not really. You fucked it up. Okay. Not realizing. <laughs> he had. Actually, I should thank you. you pocket sixes. Good for a set. Blinds are 1.5k, 3k with a 3k big blind ante. Shravan decides to attack them. 2x open with the jack 5 suited. And pocket 6 is now for Abhishek. Goes all in. We can sweat together. King do soft, not gonna get it done. And Shravan 2 will surely find the fold. So close. So, so sick. The first hand, the first card I saw was King of Hearts. Kalu is like, just here for commentary, bro. He's not playing a hand only. He's just like <laughs> inducing everyone to play a hand. Two away from the money. He's float? Float? We're not even from float. Ace King for Vinod. He has been the most active, certainly the most talked about on this table. I doubt the table is giving him too much credit, and now he has a monster on the button. I think Vinod's enjoying this the most. Yeah, yeah. He's like, like I've got all the chips. We're at the bottom of the table. Good spot. 
I'm getting good spot. Yeah, yeah. Kanishka finds Rags. Folds the small and Rags for shoving as well. But your gunk is better than my gunk. Gunk is a good word being used. Jack 3 certainly casts gunk, but Shravan defends his blinds very wide as we saw with the 5 2 soft. As we head to the flop, 6 5 2 two spades. No pair for either player, but some connectivity for Shravan. Board is low enough such that Vinod decides not to continuation bet. Does favor the big blind calling range more than the button opening range. Shravan leads out on the turn with his cut shot and range advantage. And Vinod just lets it go. Shravan getting one over Vinod. Nice hand. Well played. Suited so ace-10 on the button for Kanishka. He's been quiet for a while. Abhishek's been needling him for doing that. What is this flight? <laughs> Abhishek commenting on the 2.5x open from the button. King 8 suited is certainly good enough to defend, no matter what the sizing. And defend he does. One, one. Low board once again, no, six, five, four. Good. Rainbow. Abhishek has two overs, the back door, diamond draw, and of course the gut shot to the eight high straight. Kanishka has two overs in the back door, spade draw only. He decides to check behind, realize some of his equity. Jack of Hearts on the turn, doesn't change much, goes check check again. And with the six of clubs on the river, Kanishka gets the check mark. Abhishek seems to know where he's at, he knows Kanishka's. Yeah, he announces it too. Knew the king high likely wasn't good, but also knew Kanishka was likely calling. That's after seeing the three of spades, you over that. Yeah, but that's why he's polarized there. He either has it or he doesn't have it. Still discussing hand number one, in case you're curious. Stone bluff for the first hand of the... Yeah, unlikely. Yeah, that's why I didn't like... That's the only reason. Otherwise, I'm like, man, first hand... You know what he's doing? You know what he's doing? Blind battle. Jack 10 off. For Abhishek, 5-4 of diamonds for Vinod. 7-3-3 <laughs> actually favors Vinod, despite having 5 high. Has plenty of equity with the gut shot. His pair draws are live and of course the backdoor diamond draw always an option to pick up some equity on the turn with. And a quick call with Jack high, out of position. Abhishek floating and a 5 comes in on the turn. Vinod has the best hand now. Let's check to him and, and once again he seems to know where he's at. Not worried about his opponent having a 7 or a 3, he's actually trying to extract value. Blinds are up, 2,000, 4,000, 4,000 is the ante. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Shravan has an ace under the gun. It's interesting, we saw Kanishka fold an like, ace, a better ace actually. Not too long ago under the gun. <laughs> so these two clearly have the very different game? strategies on this table. Very different you playing styles. That much. 
with the blue chips in front. All the green chips are in front. Are you kidding me? No, but I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't count. Like, at least you have to make yeah, it easy for me to count. Vinod has King Jack off in the small. Could go either way here. Decides to call. And King Eight for Kanishka in the big blind. Cheaper price, just needs to call 5,000, 26,000 in the middle. Wow, lets it go. Very disciplined lay down. Does not want to tango multi way. Nine, six twos. Neither player connects. The ace high is still good and in position. We see Shravan has been opening very wide. Does not connect and checks behind with the ace high. Does realize that with the nine high board, Vinod is very likely to represent a wide range of holdings here, considering he called from the small blind. And deduces that ace high could still be ahead, and he is correct. The board pairs on the river, that's actually a good outcome for Shravan. Reduces the chance his opponent had a six to begin with, and does not increase additional cards his opponent could have connected with. And Vinod seems to know he's up against an ace high sort of hand. King high is never good. Bluffs at it. Shravan almost calling out his opponent's exact hand. Almost. Good call. Finally he's got... Hey, show, 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 show. I got a lot. King Jack, King Jack. All right. You know, I, I, I had like... I had like... Nice king ball. 8 and I was thinking like, you know, you could have like King, you know, King Jack. Bluff, bluff. Kare jare, kare jare. Sikko. Abhi finally mana to se. No. Let me win, no. One day is one. <laughs> Yeah, let me I win. just check, man. Maybe you're good also. Yeah, put on the top. You're asking you're for a stack good. now. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's just never good. Now. Never ask <laughs> Man, I don't have fucking like... I could be dominant. I, that's what I thought when I was stacking too much. Like I thought I could be like in a situation. Where, from him. Well, I'll take a bow, Shravan. Vinod calls him a sicko. I must say, I agree. Very, very nice call. With the ace high. On the turn and the river. Let me win one pot. The bigger you went, the faster I would have called. <laughs> yeah, which I went smaller. I know. <laughs> Should have gone smaller. Play, play, bro. It's eight minutes. I was calling, bro. Yeah, I, I felt like I couldn't do anything. Too. Thank you. Bro. I would love to see you calling. Kings oh, appear again. And a trap has been set in the small blind. <laughs> Two aces and a nine on the board. Shravan still has absolute rags. I doubt the kings can get paid too easily. How sticky does Shravan want to be? With Shravan checking behind pre-flop, he certainly cannot have an ace. Tough for him to represent. Too strong a hand here. Does make the call. It's effectively a float in position, which means he wants to try and steal it on future streets. Kanishka does oblige by giving him the opportunity. A fantastic check on the turn. Mind you, Kanishka knows he's ahead. As I mentioned, tough for Shravan to have an ace after not raising the small blind limp. Kanishka realized almost all hands that call the flop should find a way to bet the turn. And he manages to extract six and a half thousand in value with Shravan drawing dead. The nine is a tough card. Double pairs the board. Ooh. And it goes check, check. Got one thing. Shravan with the cheeky classic poker table lie, but well played by Kanishka, maximizing. Blinds are up once again. 3,000, 6,000, 6,000 ante, which means... I think these tactics will... No, but I, I genuinely want to know. 
tell you. Abhishek no, has you less than 10 bigs. Counted myself. Jack 2, son of the gun. It's the muck. Kanishka, 10 3 suited. On the button. Some newly picked up chips. You want me to put my Once again, a reminder two out of the four players will get any points at all for their Play teams. So even though Abhishek Goindi is the shortest stack, Kanishka can't sit around waiting for him to bust, but for now he pitches his cards in. 10 3 suited once again in the small. Same. Okay. Shravan jams the 10 3 suited, gets oh, the job done. Inflation Mind you, Abhishek had to put in two bigs there for the blind and the ante. No, oh. Down to just 36,000. <laughs> Don't tell. Don't you also. Hide your white chips. Hide your green chips. Those white chips are going to be Fold it to the blinds. Abhishek has rags. He just knew he's going to call me. Uh, I didn't even see. I, three, seven, I don't want to see. You call, call, uh, call 19 off? His, uh, his jam? Bro, this is where I'm not. That I don't know. It's a lot. That's Meaning right. I have My to comfort see the chart. Zone. Too. I can feel Legit. a little bit. Yeah. No, short stack will jump. Six pick blind can I get? Short stack will jump. No, six pick blind can I get? Suited 8-7 for Shravan. He knows he has to open. Has to worry about Abhishek on his left, but certainly can't afford it. Has 140,000 in his stack. Goes for the 2x open. Abhishek does jam. Has pocket nines. King Jack hits the mark, and I think Shravan will be priced in once action reaches back to him. Yeah, Shravan does make the call. Great spot for Abhishek. 82% to double up. Two unders. Careful what you wish for, guys. There is the nine of spades. Five of diamonds. Five of diamonds. Yeah, five Shravan wants the five of diamonds, would be one of his few hopeful cards. Otherwise, it could be all over on the turn here. Oh! <laughs> Never Give easy. Oh. No, no, diamonds. Give him a pair. Diamonds are forever. No, that's too greedy, uh -oh. no? Oh. I pair. need a diamond now. What yeah. else will I ask for? <laughs> There's no cards left. It was oh. just a sweat. Oh. Yeah. I know, I know. It's supposed to be a sweat. Things up is back. Always, I told you I'm a six big line ninja, bro. There we go. Fun sweat, but wait, 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 wait. result this seems fair. Bro, ye, this is 8k, bro. So just give me 8k. The rest, this is 10, 20. Our graphics team ahead of the dealer, Abhishek is going to end up with yeah. over 81,000 in chips. Almost starting stack. Not bad at all after being crippled early on. 29, 30, 31, 32. So the stacks even out a bit apart from look at that, Vinod building some towers. Barely has more than Shravan who's now second in chips. Are you gonna move to table or should I move to table? Look how close the stacks are between thirteen and nineteen big lines. He should just move his chips. <laughs> As soon as we jump Come up on, another blind level, things are going to get like, very shallow. Put like those over here, I fall over. Yeah, need a little bit of foundation. Strong foundation. Foundation is strong, just don't There's have really not much of a skill gap, needless to say, between these four players. So, as blinds even out, truly is anyone's game. Bro, what's my stack? He wants to know. One one seven. That's actually easier. Just ask him. Yeah. Can you give us a breakdown of all the stacks? Ah, okay. 
Play Doh. Me? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, bro. Not me. What? I fold it. You don't want me to fold. Fold it to the blinds. Suit it. 7 3. Kanishka limps again. Don't forget, last time he limped, he had Pocket King. So, very balanced. Shravan checks his option. Oh, we're back in. Ace King Jack, two diamonds. Let's go. Kanishka could consider taking a stab, considering he's more likely to be limping with an ace than Shravan to be checking behind with an ace. What do you have that? Ace three of spades. King Jack. No, first time again. That you'll know, I'll tell you in the end. Bad for you, I have to see Queen of diamonds. Three to a flush on the board, four to a straight on the board. Shravan catches a pair that gives him the best hand. Cannot bet it for protection considering the board. And now Kanishka comes out firing, but might be too little too late. Shravan has enough of a piece. Doesn't expect to win every time, I suppose, but don't forget that's what pot odds are for. He's getting 3 to 1 to call, and he knows he's going to be winning more than 25% of the time. First time of the game. It was just the dynamic, it just played out that way. I knew you didn't think I was as strong as. Uh, I yeah, was. but now I've committed. Guys, can you pull up? Not yeah, really. It's, bro, it's like still 2 a big blind. 2 a big blind. What's the committee in that? Yeah, but. No moves left. No moves left. Yeah, now it's just uh, variance. Blinds are up 4,000, 8,000. Pocket eights for Vinod. Nobody seems to give him credit when he raises. He's yet to make the most of that. All <laughs> in. Just goes all in with blinds for all the players being in this 10 to 20 range and pocket sevens for Kanishka. What match it count? Kanishka has 81,000, just over 10 bigs. I think he knows this is the call. Makes the call. He's going to be dominated. We could be seeing our first elimination here. Pocket sevens need to overcome pocket eights. Not much he could have done. Quite a cooler, bit of a setup, four-handed, with blinds being as shallow as they are. Three diamonds on the board, but not much else to help the pocket sevens. Queen, four, five. Could come diamond, diamond, or some sort of runner, runner straight, but for now needs the two sevens. Nine of hearts, meaning only the two sevens will do. Otherwise, we do lose Kanishka Samant. No doubt his team, the anti-tilters, Shouting for a seven. The ten of spades means he's out in fourth place at the sit and go. And Vinod Magalmani crosses the 200,000 in chips mark. What's the crazy thing? Shravan picks up Queen Nine off on the button. Has 15 bigs. Now that we're three handed on the gun and button are the same, of course. And he folds the queen nine off, taking into account the stack dynamics here. Good card, Paul. Abhishek Goidi jams the king deuce and a king queen off for Vinod. Insta called. Spin it up. Yeah. Is it, what do you hold it? Yeah, yeah. Abhishek so I do something, no? Min understandably Min jams his 10 big stack with the king. Yeah. <laughs> you know, wakes up with the girls, the dominating hand.
10 8 3 on the flop no help at all for the king deuce but two hearts present some hope of backdoor flush but now three outs would need a heart to pick but up would, this, some additional would, ones but uh, you can't call also no i mean if the icm is the yeah the master is just constantly discussing strategy even when their fate is in the hands of the poker gods with two cards to come they can't help it. This is how they became masters. This is my only, only way I know how to play. I can't play any other way. I can only play like how I know how to play. Abhishek looks on hoping for a magical deuce to appear. As we await the turn, I know it's coming. It's there is the heart on the turn. <laughs> Always a sweat. Eleven outs now for Abhishek Goindi. Suddenly all is not lost. Can he bink it? Heart is coming. That is a heart. What an upset. Abhishek Goindi manages the bad beat. Someone was not happy about that. Adds 90,000 to his stack with the double up. Now is a force at this table. Runner, runner hearts. One of the worst possible beats. Vinod Megalmani takes it well. What can he do after all? Of a shake in the lead. 4,000, 8,000. Are the blinds? 8,000 is the ante. Of a shake. Does know exactly what to do at each stack depth, as we said. Now has over 20 bigs on the chip lead on the button with an ace. Certainly going to be opening it up. Twenty thousand in the middle to scoop up. Twenty thousand is the open, and the same hand ace nine off for Vinod. Seems like an obvious three bed champ spot. There we go. Gets it in there. Why do you underestimate? Abhishek utters the word ICM spot. Of course, two players are going to get points. Abhishek giving credit to the fact that Vinod is risking being eliminated in third place. Did you say a stack was? 40. I mean, 100k. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, I have 100 exact. 100 exact. Tough decision. Right on the borderline, I have a feeling Ace 10 would have called already. Oh, there you go, Abhishek voicing his thoughts. He thinks Ace 9 is ahead, but does not want to lose all the chips he just gained because it would be an ICM disaster. ICM, of course, stands for Independent Chip Model. It's basically a way of valuing the payouts. Good call. Yeah, anyways, you have points. You can gamble. What do you have? You show. You jam. You jam. Are they show? Nice. Are they show? Ace 9. Chop it. Fish. What okay. can you raise, bro? I was gonna jam. Yeah, I just like, jam. Okay. I, that's why I said I didn't. What think, a fish! I, that's why I said I didn't How think you were gonna take jam? an ICM, ICM spot. I didn't think you were gonna take an ICM spot. But we have too many points. We can gamble. We can gamble. No we can hit off heart. something, no? Okay. no, no, no. Chop, yeah. That's gonna be a chop. <laughs> Love to hear the players voicing their strategic thinking. 
So interesting to hear Abhishek's thoughts. I was, I was like bored. Did not jam pre-flop. Especially when he said because what he, said last he did not want to risk losing his newfound chips. Thought of it as an ICM disaster, which is to say, I really want to play this way. He wants to get the points for his team. Does not want to risk getting eliminated third, even if he's giving up a slight edge. I have to take it. I didn't realize you take it, dude. I thought you'd fold like a cashier. 100% I'm taking it. Yes, sir. I was like, okay, fine. Otherwise, if you had been there, I'd have thought about it. I thought you'd fold like a cashier. I was like, okay, more. I was like, okay. And I'm still left in the hand with talking. If I had aged, I would have snapped it off then. Yeah. He's already given away his... Why? Let's tell you. It could be reversed. Very genuine. Meanwhile, the blinds have gone up. 5,000, 10,000, 10,000 ante. Abhishek getting a walk. Button to shut the door. Do it, bro. Max. Big blind pay. Max. Max pay. Max pay out. Mr. Goindi declared himself a short stack ninja. You need the points, bro. We don't need the points. Anyway, you cut out. Both of you will cut out. Has certainly proven himself to be one. You know it's making money. It will come, it will come. An ace on the button with 10 bigs for Chauvin. Yes, there's ICM considerations of the payout going to two players, but this has to get into the middle. There we go. Vinod correctly laying it down. Two players with similar stacks, Shravan and Vinod. As Abhishek Goindi was mentioning. He needs to make sure he lets one of them bust before getting too wild. Same spot. No, no, it's a perfect spot, but I didn't expect you to take it. But then you said something the previous hand. Nobody says fuck it call, bro. You you said the previous hand. You said something. So I was like, I know you're jamming your life because he's. And I was like, bro, we have too many points. All in. Well, talk about taking spots. The jack seven off finds its way into the middle. Ten bigs being shoved to pick up the two bigs in the middle. With that little pickup, Vinod, second shortest or the second biggest, depends how you want to look at it. Shravan down to ten bigs. A king on the button now, 11 and a half pigs. Much trickier decision. We saw Shravan, Jam and Ace. We know this is going to let the king five off go. Shravan has 10 bigs in the small blinds, 7 6 off. Goes for it, all in. After all, he just heard Goindi describe how he's going to be a bit tighter in his calling range because of his own ICM considerations. Time to see if Abhishek lives up to his proclamation. He has a king, theoretically, it is a call. A 10 big blind jam with a big blind ante at play. No, no, 150. How, dude? This is 104. Bro, this is 100. This is 100. 120 is there. Shravan Chabria. 25 here. Is a shrewd poker player. Has surely taken into account what Abhishek Goindi declared about ICM a moment ago. 152. And we can see Abhishek asking for chip counts for not just Shravan but Vinod as well. Yeah, I don't know how to play 
ICM with oil filters. Yeah. This is fun. Like a... Let's it go. We didn't say all those things, no? We what did he say? We came out with a noodle. What a great all-in by Shravan. Absolutely Bro, exploiting the dynamics the and the information. Silent assassin. And the information sort of leaked out by Abhishek Goendi. I'm sure that led to a cheer from the crushers watching. And pocket nines now for Shravan. 12 bigs on the button. Easiest jam ever. Wants to pick up the 25k in the middle. It's going to put a distance between himself and the other short stack of Vinod. Perhaps no surprise, but these poker masters have put on a poker master class for us here today. These are the kind of decisions that separate the best from the rest. This one seemingly a bit simpler. Shraman thinking about that dreaded ICM as well. Does he want to risk somebody waking up with a hand? But pocket nines is just so strong. Easy jam, easy pickup, and he's up to 15 bigs just like that. Are we, are we playing the 75, 15k level? Yeah. After this, 7500, 15k. That level's there. And after that? Vinod is down to just 9 big blinds. Pocket so aces for Abhishek Goindi. Pocket kings twice, pocket aces. He's been hit by the deck. It's worked out about half the time so far. Now with pocket aces, how does he want to lay the trap? He's effectively the co-chip leader, along with Shravan. Standard open, 2x. Would love for his opponents to come over the top to say, to state the obvious. Shravan has four do suited, but he has proven himself a very sticky customer in the blinds. Now with ICM considerations, he's put in 20k already as the big blind and the ante. Does he want to put in another 10k? Uh, 135, yeah. It's four deuce, but it is suited. How much does he want to speculate? Person raising is the other chip leader. Pick up here would put a fair amount of distance between Shravan and Abhishek. And some discipline shown there by Shravan. You could see it pained him. But he lets the four do suit it go. Abhishek is hey, not happy. Goindy knows his aces did not get action and now the blinds have gone up apparently. Or I suppose they're about to, which is what Abhishek was complaining to Shavan about. Pocket tens for Vinod and he jams it in the nine bigs or so from the button. Certainly wouldn't mind getting action with a hand as strong as tens, but wouldn't mind the pickup either. 25,000 in the middle, 91,000 is the bet. No, how you have to give me that focus for 4,000, 6,000. How can, how can the blind be forced yeah, to take and pack? It's yeah. eight minute level. No, no, it is. Nice, good job. Yeah. I didn't do anything. I don't I Gets it through and the blinds go up now. Bro, give a uh, chip count. Tamil. I have 120. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. 400k. Absolute drags for Shravan this time on the button. So 
think he's going to be able to let this one go. Blind versus blind. Ace queen off for Abhishek going the easy life. Nahi yaar, I don't have one a hand as strong as this, he could even consider trapping here. No, it's wrong. No, it's wrong. I have 140. 140, Lions, by the way, 6,000, 12,000. 12,000 ante, 30,000 in the middle. You know, just as 92,000 behind. I don't think. We both have 140. I have 140. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100. And he does lay the trap. Does not jam all in. Simply makes the call. Alarm bells do need to be ringing for Vinod. There's very, very few holdings Abhishek would do this with. Vinod checks behind. He's a cool customer. 10 high flop now. Vinod with the worst hand but does have position. 10 9 3 board rainbow does smack Vinod's range. After all, Vinod could have pretty much any two cards barring some premiums. He did check behind on the big blind. A check check means Abhishek has a little more confidence that his ace queen high is the best hand. Takes a stab at it. Min bet. Can it get the job done? Looks like it. Not much Vinod can represent the way the hand has gone. So another pick up there for the chip leader. 183,000 in his stack now. Almost double the shortest stack. Vinod is crippled, 90,000 at this new blind level, under 8 big blinds. Suda King folded on the button. Once again, very interesting, it's the ICM dynamic, given the short stacks of the players. There is some merit to considering jamming. Vinod jams the suited queen. Pretty standard considering he's under eight bigs. Shravan has picked up a king and is likely to call. There it is. So we know that risk and a king right in the window, King Jack 7 reduces Vinod's hand to some back draw straight and flush draws. This could be it, unless a diamond or a Broadway card hits. Anti first, anti first or big blind first? Big blind first. Nice. Oh, yes, no, it's dead button. Next time, if I we anti first or big blind first? 
is surely going to find himself going all in with the jack 5 suited Put one stack in and say all right. Moving all the chips to take forever. He's 20, right? 20. 20 games. Shavan makes the call with the queen-deuce off. I think he's inducing Abhishek to call as well. And Abhishek wakes up with ace-king off. Shavan was effectively what we sometimes call soft colluding. Essentially indicating to Abhishek, hey, whatever hand you have, let's just sort of eliminate the player together, get some points. But Abhishek is going to pounce on this, certainly with this holding. The only hand Shavan would ever be trapping with would be aces, perhaps kings, and Abhishek, of course, with the ace-king, has blockers to both of them. He can certainly try to go all in or raise and isolate Vinod. Decides to just call. So many ICM-based decisions, which is to say decisions aimed at securing those points that the top two players get. And it's a king high board. Surely a bet isn't coming right now to isolate. Now it goes check, check. Free cards being given. I'm sure Goindy. Getting a safe turn. Before making a small bet. Getting Shravan to fold. There's no point of getting me out. I was hoping you fly. See what happens. I know, I know, I know. It's correct. We know that risk. Has five outs. Going once. Close but no cigar. The four of hearts means we do now lose Vinod Megalmani. <laughs> How you boys on Ikeem always uh, heads up all the time. <laughs> there we go. No, but I, he was one of those spots, you know what I mean? Because 20k anyway is dead. And he's, he's, uh, he's fine, so I feel like he's dead. Right? Okay. 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 Shravan and Abhishek clarifying their strategy to eliminate the short stack on the bubble. Who's 210? He's 210. 210 and 190. We got a lot of change. 210 and 190. Okay. Here we go. Almost even in chips as we head to the final stage. Heads up. Both players have locked in some points, but it's about who's going to win the sit and go. And two reasonable holdings. Blinds are 7,000, 14,000. 14,000 is the ante. Shavan Chavria has an ace, and there's an all in and a call. This is it. This is for the tournament, surely. 384,000 in the middle. Shravan, with the slight chip lead, has only 16,000 or so behind were he to lose this hand. Abhishek at risk, but this is effectively to end it all. And he flops the nuts straight. Abhishek going to running hot. Shravan down to hoping for some runner-runner spades to make the nut flush. And that will seal the deal. Abhishek going to... Down to, I believe it was six or seven blinds, declared himself a short stack ninja and just proved his point. 
Shravan down to just one big blind. Nothing he could do there. He was ahead with the ace high pre flop. All in to finish the sit and go. Instead, down to just one pick as we count the chips and see the damage. The count is complete and Shravan is down to less than one big blind, 5.6k. Because of the unique structure of the big blind ante, he can more than double up were he to win this hand. It ain't over till it's over as they say. Let's see if Shravan can manage the most epic spin up of all time. 28 bigs. Probably go any more than that really. 394,000 out of the 400,000 in play. So essentially automatically all in. Shravan wakes up with a 6-3 off. Oh, that's cruel. 10-7 off for Abhishek Goindi. Two live ones though for Shravan. Looking for a 6 or a 3, 34% to begin the long journey to coming back into this match. Otherwise, the Shark Squad would have won it. There is a 6. Here we go, the spin up begins. Oh, and a 7 to crush all the hopes. Needs a 6 or a 3. Does not do it. A hug to close it out. The Shark Squad takes it. Abhishek Goindi showing how it's done. Winning a massive all in right at the end. So there we have it. The Masters battle it out for Max. And the Shark Squad emerges as the winner with their Poker Master themselves, Mr. Abhishek Goindi. That wraps it up here at Poker Master Class for now. This game may be habit forming or financially risky. Play responsibly.